This is Mardi Gras 2019. Broadcasts live from Hargrove Controls and Automation in downtown Mobile. Hello, everybody. Hello. It is Friday. We're ending the week, work week, that is, with <laughs> yes. a crew of Columbus. I'm Darwin Singleton from NBC 15 Today. And I'm Tara Reeves of Gulf Coast Today on NBC 15 at 1230. We follow you after the noon news. After the noon news. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, today is casual Friday. It is. See? Yes. We're not We're not wearing, like, suit coats and, <laughs> and no, exotic dresses like you usually wear, glamorous, right. looking like a... Exotic hats, though. Yeah, oh, well, let's talk about the hats. We want to get Mine that out of the way even right fit now. Mine in frame. <laughs> I know you have to really look at that, though. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Uh, that is gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> and the, a king's hat, appropriate for tonight because it's good to be king is the theme of the Crew of Columbus Parade. I got to give a shout out to, I can't really say who dropped these off at the, at the TV station for me, but I'm grateful. The king hat was designed by Celia Emerson and the feather headpiece that mm -hmm. Tara's wearing right now was worn by each of the members of the La Luna Chavante 2017 Board and Ball Committee. So, you know, that was born, that was in 2017. Wow. It's really held up it has. well. I mean, it's Especially in this piece. humidity. We'll see if it will hold up against if there is any rain. Oh, oh no. If it rains, that's coming off your head and going <laughs> in the building. You know, we had a crazy night last night we because sure the did. stripers, mm -hmm. Mystic Stripers, they kept going until they had to, to mm -hmm. stop. Yeah. It, well, and some of them had to stop right in front of us because, of course, we did see some lightning. And so they had to get the band members off. So Man. the barricades were moving. People were trying to get out of here. So the floats were stopped right in front of us, and so we're trying to protect ourselves from the sideways rain that was coming in. And sideways. Also <laughs> when it's raining under the balcony, you know we have a problem. And it yes. was doing that last night. It I mean, was we, crazy. It, and we're trying to cover the equipment. If you watched it, if you haven't, it's located, you can check us out on our NBC15 Facebook page mm -hmm. because uh, the it's entire parade's on there. But if you go toward the end... Oh, man. Things get hairy. And I will say, Peter Miller messaged us and said that it was absolutely hysterical, our broadcast <laughs> of the parade last night. It was it was ha-ha funny. It was. It, yeah, it, luckily, nobody got hurt. Right. Nobody got injured. The bands got wet. The floats got wet. We got wet. The <laughs> we equipment, got we had a few things not working real well. Yeah. But listen, the production team did an incredible job up here, like... You would, it was a well-oiled machine, that's all it I can was. say, because in the blink of an eye, everything was off, because we have so much technology on this Hargrove yeah. Controls and Automations balcony. Two, both ends of it, because mm -hmm. we have two, uh, actually two balconies, well, it's one big balcony, but two ends Sections, of it, yes. and one is our entertainment food balcony, and this is, of course, our broadcast uh, balcony, so mm -hmm. it, it was just pandemonium. But, it was fun, nice to remember. a little while ago... It opened up again it down did. here. Yeah. But then it stopped. Mm -hmm. Then it stopped. <laughs> and hopefully. And it's continuing to stop. Yeah. We think we're going to be okay tonight, according yeah. to the uh, weather team over Vanya at has NBC an expensive 15. weather app, and he's saying no rain in sight. So hopefully it's right. It yeah. should be right. Well, I mean, and also, you know, the crew with, uh, with NBC 15. They're an expensive weather app, too. <laughs> <laughs> and they're telling us the That's same true. thing. That's so true. I think we're okay. Let's talk about what we've got uh, coming up. First of all, uh, we, we want to talk about our, our sponsors real quickly. Yes. Can we do that? Really briefly, we already mentioned the balcony that we're on is Hargrove Controls and Automations. And then you have some friends. Yeah, uh, Navigator like Credit about. Union, Five Branches in Mobile and Baldwin County. And then the boot store. Which I need new boots after last night. They My got boots a little got wet, soaked. Didn't they? It got a little bit wet. We started, if you remember, February 21st with the order of polka dots. The 22nd was the order of Inca. We followed that up with the order of Venus and many faces. And then Lachie's put on such a great show. And of course, last night was the sopping wet. Now, I have Ooh. to say the stripers were dry until right at the very end. <laughs> yes. Unless you were at the other end of the parade route. And then it was pretty much all Pandemonium. Wet. Yeah. yeah. So some of them were even hiding up underneath the float. <laughs> and then the bags that they used to hold all of their footballs and stuff, they They're had actually poked their holes of it. through them. Yes. And made their own <laughs> homemade ponchos. Tonight, of course, Crew of Columbus. And then tomorrow is going to be Saturday. The MOTs or Miss Mystics of Time, then we skip a day, a couple of days, March 4th, Infant Mystics in Order of Doves, and then we're finishing up the with, big shabam. With Mamga. Of course, on uh, Fat Tuesday, uh, you'll also see four hours of parade coverage with NBC 15 as we get uh, all the other parades that day mm -hmm. that we won't be covering here. We'll leave That's with right. Mamga. But by the way, uh, I will not be here tomorrow night because uh, mm -hmm. I have an engagement in New Orleans. I have a ball that I MC over there, and, and I will be over there. But 
That's okay because you're going to have special guests helping you with the MOTs. I am. So we have our lovely friends at iHeartMedia and iHeartRadio. 95KSJ, Shelby and Dan are going to be here. You've probably heard them on the Dan and Shelby show. They're hilarious. Frequently, I hear your voice on their radio station. Doing Every some now news, and then when they yeah, get yeah, desperate, <laughs> they uh, call me in. Real news or not, we've yeah. done some of those fun spots for them. Yeah. We have. Uh, and I still feel like you have a bird perching on your head, <laughs> but a beautiful bird at that, by the way. It is. It's stellar. I just feel like I've been over it. Uh, the uh, zoo in Gulf Shores because they have a lot of peacocks. <laughs> I know. Over there. Do you want to pet it, Darwin? I yeah. do. It's beautiful. I mean, it really is. <laughs> it's almost like an NBC peacock. I know. But, wow, you, it's really nice. uh, you have a great picture. Speaking of peacocks, on your Facebook page, the Darwin Singleton oh, NBC thing? 50. It's gorgeous. Okay, and that uh, that peacock has been officially retired because every yeah, time I wear it, the wind so blows. Sad. And I go home with, uh, with One every less feather. well, with with my back and every other bone in my body hurting <laughs> because I'm struggling to stay up. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a prized possession. It still exists, in case you're wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some special guests tonight too, by the way. Uh, Wayne Dean, you know him as Slack of Amarenico, mm -hmm. Joe Kane. We're going to get all into the history of that, so he's standing by to talk to us. And then we've got other special guests we're going to talk about in just a few minutes. Yeah, we have some extra. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to do all that when we come back. So don't go away as we get ready to kick off the crew of Columbus on this Friday night. Thank goodness the rain has stopped. We're ready to make Mardi Gras downtown. Don't go away. You're watching UTV 44 Mardi Gras 2019. We are back on the parade route waiting for the crew of Columbus as they roll. They've been around since 1922. Remember, as we get closer to uh, a Fat Tuesday, the crews get older, and uh, a lot of times the parades get bigger. Big one tomorrow night. The MOT's rolling as well, so we'll talk about that in a little while. But now a special guest and a regular on our show every year because, well, you're a regular for Mardi Gras around I, here. I guess I am. Wayne Dean, and Wayne Dean, in case you are new to the area, he plays the role of uh, Joe Kane, who was a city clerk here, who was responsible and credited with reviving Mardi Gras after uh, the Civil War. And that guy also played a character, Chief Slykabama Renico, a Chickasaw Indian chief. I think I've got everybody up to speed. You got everybody up to speed. That's why sometimes you'll be dressed like this, and other times you will look like a uh, Indian chief. A very right. unique costume, though. It's right. not what most people no. think of. No, it, it's, it's a unique costume. The feathers are straight up. And we're not sure whether Joe Kane, when he created that character, uh, had a particular picture in mind or whether it was just, okay, I got some turkey feathers and they <laughs> look good in my bonnet. Let's see what but I let's got Let's see the house. what I can put together. And it was basically, you're right, it was created by things he could get at South Alabama. Wow. Shells from the, from the uh, Gulf, uh, turkey feathers, deer tails, and... Really? Just That's what you had to work with back then. That's right. That's we, right. Did, we didn't have Toomey's back then. No, we didn't have Toomey's. Didn't have Joe Andre's costume house. No, you didn't have any of that. <laughs> you just that. had to come up with it. Uh, but that's that's really cool, though, when people uh, make do with what they have. Because, you know, yeah. we do. Last night we did. When everything started raining, right. we made do with what we had. Hey, uh, one thing that we have some video that we're going to be showing in just a few minutes. And this was a very special honor last year. Joe Kane. Uh, I was a, a city clerk of the city of Mobile. He lived over at Augusta Street. That yes. house still survives. And last right. year, a plaque was dedicated there. Right. It, was, it was wonderful because everybody knew that was Joe Kane's house. But uh, a lot of people said, well, it's over there somewhere. But when uh, Steve John got the funds together and put that plaque up, and we did a, it was a one. It was a light last night. It was raining. Yes. If you remember. Yes. And people. Uh, there Mobile, it is. The, yeah, there it is. Uh, <laughs> you know, Mobilians. Mardi Gras lovers, if you, can if you can take a shower, you can parade and party in the rain, and that's I, what we did you are, yeah, at, at there. the house, dedicated the plaque. And uh, I remember uh, that day. I was in the street, and nobody left. Nobody it left. It came down a rain shower like crazy, and everybody stayed right there, got soaking wet. I went home. I was soaking wet, and we were all glad we did. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you don't, you know, you don't, you don't let rain, you know, kind of. Dampen your spirit your at Mardi Gras. It can rain on a Mardi Gras parade, but it can't ruin a Mardi Gras parade. Oh, no. Not for the people who really love Mardi Gras. Nah, it just it just changes the 
the parade. The and sometimes, and yeah. sometimes for the better. Yeah, I don't actually, know how it was last night, but, but it you, was. But you know what? There comes the unveiling. And, yes. and you know what? I think it made it special because it tested our metal that day and showed just how dedicated people right. are to Mobile Mardi right. Gras. Right. So it actually, everybody was kind of proud of themselves, you know? Yes, and, yeah. it's, and it's great. I mean, you know, that's, what, that's really what Mardi Gras is about is uh, that uh, frivolity even through adversity. You know what? That's what it was born from. That's right. All right. That's right. Uh, now, I'm wondering, when we talk about Mardi Gras, it's, Mardi Gras is different to everybody because mm -hmm. everybody can take Mardi Gras and make it what they want That's to. That's right. What were your first memories of Mardi Gras that made you fall in love with it? Well, I was born in Mobile. Mm -hmm. used to say I was born to A&P over on Spring Hill <laughs> Avenue, but when the Mobile Infirmary was over there, I think it's a church now, which is... Kind but anyway, uh, and... They always tell me that when Mardi Gras was resumed after World War II, that uh, my parents and my grandparents came to the parade and my grandfather stood back, back way behind the parade route and held me in his arms up against the telephone pole. I don't remember that one, but the next year I remember, and ironically it was the Crew of Columbus parade, uh -huh. because the Crew of Columbus was the first parade. My Mobians today think that's strange. You know, we've been partying for two or three weeks. Uh, but crew was the first parade, and I remember the flares, just the torch flares and the smoke rising, and then this man on this little bitty platform, not like he rides today, uh, but he had a little bitty platform uh, just tippy-toeing around on the top of this massive world. And, and that sticks in your head. That sticks in my head, uh, and once I saw that, you were hooked. I was, I was hooked and, you know, uh, tried to make every parade since then. And every ball? And, every ball and if I you. can. <laughs> Going to one tonight. 20, uh, 26 for the year. I think. So you didn't just dress up for us? No, I didn't just dress up for uh, you, Tom. Uh, well, we're glad you came, though, and we want you to have a great Mardi Gras. It's okay. always a pleasure to see you. Wayne okay. saw, the, saw the Merry Widows, and we just yes. had peace with them uh, just a few minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, I saw you stay. hanging out at Hank Blue. And... Yes, those ladies. <laughs> and that, that place is a nice place over oh, there on Canal Street. All right, we're going to toss over to uh, Tara. She's over on the uh, entertainment food balcony, and she has some special guests. Too. Thank you, sir. I sure do have some special guests. Actually, Nappy Award winners. I have Jake and Kyle of Delta Smoke. They won Best New Local Band. What does that mean to you, Jake? I'm sure it gives you a little bit of encouragement. It means a lot. I mean, all, this, all the growing unwavering support we've gotten from our local scene. I mean, we love the city of Mobile, and they've done a lot to help us grow our brand. So, I mean, it's... It's a lot of fun. I was really nervous the first time I got up on that stage to accept the award. Me and Kyle, Kyle, don't, I don't think he really said much, but, you know, <laughs> we made it through. We maintained. Awesome. So. Well, we're really excited for you guys. You guys have an EP out now, some new projects in the works. What's going on there? Um, we're in the studio in the pre-production stages of our new full-length album. Um, it's still untitled. We don't have a name for it yet, but we're recording with our good buddy Greg DeLuca. Um, it's going to be a 10-song, all-original, first full-length album, so we're excited about it. We're going to... Yeah, we've got a few new songs from that we're going to play tonight. So. Mm -hmm. And we're about to hear from them, but if you want to hear more, where are you guys going to be tonight? Uh, tonight we're going to be at Dolphin Street Blues uh, starting around 10 o'clock, Dolphin Street Blues Company. So. And then you also do something interesting on Sundays, you and Kyle. Can you tell us about that? Every Sunday we're at the Brickyard down on Dolphin Street. Uh, we call it... What was it? Uh, Sunday Sunday night service, Sunday night church service with Delta Smoke. So okay. it's fun. We're really excited. Before I let you go, I noticed when Kyle opened up this box here, there are about like 200 harmonicas in there. He's a harmonic. How many do you have, Kyle? Hundreds. 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 All right. All right, guys, take it away.
This world will break you down and eat you alive. And all that can save you is your will to survive. But you got to carry on, move along as fast as you can. The power to change is in the palm of your hand. Don't let your sadness take away from your shine. Live your life while you still got time. And darling, before you're able to love someone else, you got to learn to love yourself. your sadness take away from your shine live your life while you still got time and darling before you're able to love someone else you got to learn to love yourself before you're able to love someone else you got to learn to love yourself You're listening to Delta Smoke as we're warming up and waiting for the arrival of the crew of Columbus down here in downtown Mobile. We'll be hearing from them again a little bit later as well. And coming up, we're going to be talking with some members of our guests. Well, our, our hosts, we're the guests at Hardgrove down here on their balcony at Hardgrove Control and Automation. And also, we've got some delicious food standing by with some the folks that make it. Let's go to Tara and find out who that is. That's right. We actually have a very special guest leave with Nick. Dixon's. It is a brand new hot spot, and it's actually right across from you, Darwin. You're going to want to check it out. They recently opened. Stick around. We're going to tell you all about it when we get back. I keep on telling myself I don't need any help. I lost sense of what's right and what's wrong. Welcome back to our UTV 44 Mardi Gras coverage of the crew of the of Columbus. The parade is rolling here soon, but before we get to the parade, we're talking with my friend Lee from Nixon's. It's a brand new hot spot. You guys opened what, just a couple of weeks ago? We did, uh, yeah. Wednesday, two weeks ago, yeah. yeah. And Darwin lives very closely to you guys. He said he's gonna swing by once Mardi Gras sort of wraps up. And what I love about Nixon's, you guys have a unique story. You're wearing the hat. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you guys came up with the name, Lee. Uh, apparently, in Mobile, before my time, uh, Nixon's was a pharmacy. Uh, for I think 80 years, so it was Nixon Drugs. So that's where the name came from. And um, we keep hearing lots of stories about people that grew up and when they were kids and they came in there and got ice cream and wow. yeah, their parents got their prescriptions filled, so. So sweet, so sweet. And of course our friend John Thompson opened it up. So if you've been to Mancy's or you've been to Callahan's, I'm assuming there's gonna be some sort of a familiar feel in terms of atmosphere. So what can people expect when they swing by Nixon's Lee? Um, it's very much a midtown neighborhood bar, very like like Callahan, so the same kind of feel. Uh, different menu. Uh, we're going to do uh, what we are doing. Uh, steamed sandwiches, salads, uh, lots of wraps. Um, we have 
21 beers on tap. We also have wine on tap. Um, mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. So, well, how many wine? How many draft wines do you guys have? Draft wine, we have eight, and then plus bottles, some, and then 21 draft beer. Wow. And then I'm sure a lot of people are going to be swinging in around Mardi Gras because we're going to be in downtown. So what are your happy hours? Because we like to get good deals on our alcohol. Yes. Um, so we are actually closed Monday, Tuesday, but we open on Wednesday afternoon at three o'clock and happy hour goes from three to six during the week. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday and Sunday, we are open at 11. Okay. Where are you guys located? We are 1801 Old Shell right across from the Dew Drop. Okay, perfect. So we're going to swing in. Darwin and I are going to come. And speaking of Darwin, you have an extra special guest as well. They are extra special because they represent our hosts here, Hargrove. And Hargrove, of course, this is their uh, control and automations balcony. And what Hargrove does with this control and automation department, they actually uh, help establish communications and also working programs that help petrochemical wood pulp industry and the automotive industry all the uh, the equipment that they use they design it so it works together am i getting this right i think sure. i am and uh and that's what's so unique about them but that's just one one part of this huge company one thing that you guys are first of all this is katrina smith she's a, a hargrove teammate they're not employees they're teammates yep. and uh and she's a ymca board member and lawan black is the executive director of the moore ymca all right now you're only a few blocks apart so uh you take advantage of that here in hargrove how does it work for you and then i want to talk about what they offer um, I walk down to the Y during lunch and um, just walk a couple blocks, which I consider part of my workout, and then I take advantage of one of the many amazing classes that they offer during lunch. I, you know, I did a, a story years ago with a spin class down there. Yeah. Is, is spin still in? Absolutely. Yeah. We have many spin classes each week. Because yeah. I crawled out of the building when I finished that spin <laughs> class. We still do that now. Yeah, yeah. but I said, wow. I mean, yeah. it was it was totally, mm -hmm. it, uh, it just it just drains everything out of you. But later in the day, you're like, wow. You're like, it was totally it worth it. it. it was, yeah. Well, it was, uh, and I probably should do it again. Uh, but tell me what, are, what else you offer at the Moore YMCA. Yeah, so the YMCA is a nonprofit. So yes. we're not just a gym and swim. We also, you know, serve the community. Um, we raise funds every year for our Y campaign for youth and families. Um, so that we can have scholarships for swim lessons, sports, memberships. We don't turn anyone away. We want everybody to be able to be involved there. And so uh, we partner with people uh, like Hargrove. Um, we think it's very important to collaborate within the community. Um, and so we have partnerships with them, and uh, we have corporate memberships that we offer, and um, we just have a great time getting to know all the people in our area and um, working together for the community. Well, and they're good to have a board because Hargrove is the largest engineering yeah. firm in Alabama. you got a lot of employees here, and that means even if, let's say, a quarter of them took advantage of this, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, so being fit in an in a industry where you do a lot of design, you're at the computer a lot, getting up and taking a break has to be a big deal because it clears the mind as well, doesn't it? It's very important and, and it's a it's something that Hargrove has always encouraged. Health and wellness has been something that they've always encouraged and um, we've been a corporate sponsor of the YMCA or a, a, a corporate membership, had a corporate membership um, for a couple of years now and I think a lot of our teammates take advantage of that and um, a lot more could. We have about 500 in the Mobile office. That many? Yeah. I thought it was about 400 but that 500. It's four to five. They just come on like this week it grew again. Yeah. I mean, Every time I look, you guys have added another dot on yes. the map. So, 13 dots. But how many? 13 now. 13 locations around the country yes. uh, uh, doing engineering and helping companies grow and get bigger and bigger and provide more jobs to other people. Yes, it's amazing. The more YMCA has been around how long? We've been around since the 1980s. Um, the YMCA of South Alabama has five branches, though. That's right. Yeah, you have and one when over. you join one, you join all. So, ah. like, she has several of her offices in other places, um, Baldwin County, different ones, and so they can all join the Y. They can visit whichever one's closest to them. Because you have so a Dearborn, great. I believe, isn't there? The Dearborn's not in our association. They are YMCA. I wondered about not, that. Yeah. Okay. They're just right down the road from us, though. Does that work reciprocal at all, or is that totally separate? We do separate? have reciprocity, national okay. reciprocity now with the I YMCA. See. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so if you're out of town, you, go, you can? Mm -hmm. ah, yep. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, because... Thank uh, you so much. 
so yeah, much. I, I really have been impressed what of what Hargrove does in the mm -hmm. community with its foundation and all the mm -hmm. different things you do because we've talked about that and the Genghis Khan display down around. Yeah, you guys are sponsoring sponsor that, that as well. <laughs> I want to get a plug in for that too. So so thank you. I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the parade and have a great night. Thank you so much. And we are getting ready to go on the parade route ourselves because the parade's right around the corner. Crew of Columbus has been around since 1922, a little bit longer than yeah. we've been here. Well, a, a lot longer than, yeah. than for you guys. Maybe a little less for me. Don't go away. It's getting getting started here. We're going to have some fun, and it's going to be dry. It's not going to be like last night. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We are back. Getting ready for the crew of Columbus tonight on the Hargrove Control and Automation Balcony. Big, beautiful balcony across from Government Street uh, from, the, um, from the government complex, the Mobile Government Plaza. If you've been down there, I'm sure, to attend a city council meeting or pay a ticket, uh, we're across <laughs> the street from that. And uh, it's a perfect location. And it's Darwin Singleton, Tara Reeves from NBC's uh, Gulf Coast Today show, which will be there Monday. Yes, we will be there on Monday at 1230. But currently, of course, we're at Hargrove Controls and Automations on their fabulous balcony. All right, we want to thank our sponsors too, Navigator Credit Union, with five branches in Mobile and Baldwin County. I got a chance to work with them a couple years in a row now and are making spirits bright and they are genuinely nice people. I can say that without hesitation. Mm -hmm. And then of course the boot store. They were nice enough to fix my boots and then I think I'm going to have to take the boots that I'm currently wearing that I was wearing last night that got <laughs> soaked. Oh. And I wore these on purpose because I was fearful that there would also be rain in the forecast again tonight. So I didn't want to ruin another pair of boots. So now the boot store will only have one pair of boots to repair. Uh, and there was rain earlier. But there the was. good thing is it was uh, well before the parade started. So thankfully we can roll tonight and the crew of Columbus can race us with their amazing floats. And there's going to be a lot of them tonight. In fact, we have I think, and that might be yours, I think we have uh, 19 floats tonight because they have about five that are constant every year. We're scrambling to find our information right now. If you find yours. Oh, yes. yeah, here we go. Here we go. We have 19 floats tonight, wow. Darwin. And That's you know the theme. That's Ooh. A, it's good to be keen. Hey, look at this. By the way, the USS James Williams is in town for Navy Week, and they brought some entertainment with them. So expect to hear a little music from the Navy over the weekend. They always bring the bands. Look at this. We've been seeing them walking around town with their uniforms on, and when you see them this weekend, remember it's Navy Week in Mobile. USS James Williams are at the port. You can go tour their, their vessel, and you can say hey, and if you see them on the streets, welcome them to Mobile. We are so delighted to have them sharing Navy Week right here as sure Queen are. Leslie McLean comes up behind them with the crew Look of Columbus. Look at that stunning crown. Isn't wow. That beautiful? I can, it's shining from here. You know, I heard in the Navy you can sail the seven seas. All seven of them. All seven seas. Now, they may tell you which ones you're going to sail, but... <laughs> A little bit of the history of the crew of Columbus as Big Bertha gets ready to come by. I know, it looks like the bat signal up there on Government Plaza. They have been around since 1922. That was before Big Bertha. She wow. was here in 1942 in World War II. Uh, they started with the Knights of Columbus in, in Mobile. That's where they get their name. Uh, you had to be Catholic to be a member for a long time, and then they dropped that, and now you just have to be passionate about Mardi Gras, mm -hmm. and they are. Uh, and tonight, it's good to be king is the theme. We are going to see all kinds of different kings on these 19 floats. We'll be talking about that in a moment, but right now, we're going to listen to our first band of tonight. That's Miguel Tulin High School. Let's listen. the school song. Orange, black, and white looking good tonight. Miguel Tolan, one of our wonderful neighbors in Midtown Mobile. They sure are, and they're actually getting a brand new press box for our UTV44 
high school football game of the week. Friday night rival, that's a lip. mouthful. At the lip? At the lip, yes, hey. our coverage this year. We're going to have a little bit more elbow room, uh, not as much as here at Hargrove. But. That's a great facility, too. I've been there for some of the AFC Mobile Soccer games. They play at the lip, at, which is uh, off Michael Boulevard, mm -hmm. not very far from our station. Right. What a nice facility that is. So uh, the lips come stadium i guess they just call it the lift and they do you know everything has to be shortened it has a little swagger you know we're going to the lift yeah, you're like tear and i'm dar yeah tear and dar tear and dar <laughs> so it's too much like terror <laughs> tear dar dar tear tear down yeah well yeah well <laughs> hey uh we are waiting for the crew of columbus to arrive and boy has it been soggy today but look the crowd is starting to grow now remember a lot of the crowd will start making its way from church street uh over to government street and in a moment everything will surge just you are on tv sir you are you, you are on tv <laughs> you know i was surprised they say they have 59 lifetime members of the crew of columbus that's a big commitment to to each year, of course, the balls, they're so much fun. Being in the parade, the fees, of course, the nonprofit. Oh, yeah. But it's crazy how involved and how passionate, much like you, Darwin, in all honesty, are so passionate and know so much about Mardi Gras. By the way, well, you absorb it after 30 years. Whoa, here we go. The crew of Columbus. In hot. And they oh. are going to be throwing. I will probably be under the table. Yep. Probably yep. will. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Don't throw. <laughs> don't throw. Yeah. They're wet. Maracas. These footballs are wet. Oh my gosh, it's a champagne full of candy. <laughs> champagne bottle. Oh, These footballs are so wet. Oh the They're ramen noodles. They're, okay, what is this first float? Is this the emblem float? Yes, it is. Okay. And you see a spinning globe and the spinning compass on the back and the moon on the front as Columbus navigated his way to the new world. By the way, crew of Columbus, K R is not spelled with a K, it's C R E. W-E, -E, which is the only crew in Mobile that uses a C. And you'll see their blue flags around town. It says C-O-C -C on them. It's got a little compass. Really cool looking flags. I know this one in my neighborhood for the first time. Very nice. All right. Well, we survived that first float. Only 18 sure more to go. I know. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. I was catching those footballs, and since they were drenched like the water was still uh -huh. hitting me in the face anyway so my loose. dear you catch them i run from them <laughs> i duck the floor high school marching band here come the rattlers Those colors too. I keep saying that every time they walk by, and it's true. The bright orange and green. Well, yes. you, you could almost fit in their van tonight with your garb with that my, you got now. Green, yeah. Yeah. Green. yeah. <laughs> I like it. By the way, uh, this was the first parade to ever be pulled by motorized vehicles. Really? Because before that, mules pulled all the floats in my mobile. Did you know that? And the I first didn't know parade that. to use generators to light up the floats at night. Oh wow! So they were like cutting edge for their time. Yes. Oh. And remember, Crew Columbus had three boats, and you're about to see them. The Nina coming into view. What was that? Beads. A big bag of beads. Yes. Oh. There you go, Darwin. You get a chance. You got it. I got it. Yes. <laughs> I, I usually do get it, but usually in the face. <laughs> Here comes the cups. Wow. Ooh, toilet paper. Oh, hey. Finally throwing groceries we can all use. <laughs> <laughs> I've got every other part of the house stopped. <laughs> Might as well start with the bathroom. Here we go, Blow House Band. When the Saints go marching in with their very enthusiastic leader and his purple cape. Let's listen. I wasn't sure I was going to get some enthusiasm tonight. Last night wore me out, but all of a sudden, 
You know, when you it get comes a down the win. street, we get that second <laughs> win, the music starts playing, the, the, the throws start coming at you, <laughs> and you realize if you don't get motivated, it's going to be a, it's You're going to be, be a, down and out for a completely different out. reason. Here comes another float. Of course, these are part of the uh, floats we see every year with Crew of Columbus. Another one of Columbus's three ships, the Pinta. The Pink Pinta, fitting. The Pinta, not, not that car that exploded that Ford made years ago. The Pinto, <laughs> this is the Pinta. This is the Pinta. My dad had a Pinto. <laughs> My sister had a Pinto. <laughs> oh, they're throwing some really good Frisbees they here. They are, and they're... Or, they're you, you oh, think they could actually be plates to go with their cups. They could be. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nice. They fly really. They know how to throw them, too. They do. Now, I'm, you can throw me... Oh, you know what? You could use them. Like a, a shield. shield, yes! Oh my thank you, thank really you, smart. thank you. Wow. I'm so good at deflect. Oh, there's all these these balls too that when they uh, smack something, like your hand, they light up, they flash. <laughs> or your face. Or your face. Let's, let's, let's try to avoid that if we can. Those are cool. Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm so liking these frisbees. <laughs> Hey, we just had another band go by. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even mention them. We were so taken by the Grisbees. It was the new Millennium Band. New Millennium Band, another brass band. Oh, wow. So many now mobile. Special wonderful. treatment. She's just walking up to him and putting his beads on his neck. That's sweet. Last but certainly not least, the, the Santa, Santa Maria. Yes. yes. Good looking float. Boy, these floats are amazing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Darwin's <laughs> loving this Grisbee. Yeah. If you could see him. <laughs> Deflecting everything. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There you go. Those are some nice ones. Oh, Whoa. snap. <laughs> snap. <laughs> uh, by the way, did I mention they have a lot of marshals in this group? Yeah, that's I had a list of them. Uh, 21 marshals. They have 420 active riders, 21 of them are marshals. That is a big organization. And that's why they have to have a lot of big floats. Wow. Beautiful float. This, this is, is gorgeous. It is Esmerella. Mobile loves its dragon. I think it's Isabella. Is it? I, I think so. I was trying to read, but I was trying to dodge, too. <laughs> Darwin, you're on your own. <laughs> if they threw them one at a time, I'd be much better. Yes, that's yeah. the thing. <laughs> at least there's no one soft objects tonight. Right. Now, we really appreciate that, let me tell you. <laughs> it, it is Isabella, you're right. But you know, I thought, oh, Isabella. Oh no, Vanyas. Did he get you, Vanya? Oh dear. You know what? He just hit our light and it knocked a spider down. <laughs> and he it has just spiders in our lights? And it just climbed back up inside the light because he knows he needs to take cover. <laughs> Party girl's tough, I tell you. Even for the critters. Even for critters. The critters. Right. Yeah. I thought Isabella was the queen of Portugal that gave Columbus all the money to uh, make his trip. It wasn't a fire breathing dragon? Well, she might have been having, she she might have have been. a disposition yeah. like mm -hmm. a fire breathing dragon. Yeah. I don't know. You are watching the crew of Columbus parading through downtown Mobile. They have been doing this, or at least celebrating Mardi Gras Mobile since 1922. Wow. Here comes Baker High School. Baker has split its band tonight because they're going to do another half. Baker is a big band. They this sure is, do. This is a big band right here, and it's only a portion of it. So we'll be hearing from the rest of them a little bit later. I'll tell you what. These band players or members have incredible self-control. Let's listen to them. Chips Ahoy, but they're close. They're close <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not Chips Ahoy. 
Oh their, chi goodness. their chips be gone. <laughs> but hey, they'll be gone a little bit later. <laughs> Darwin, whoever, <laughs> I Aww. think it was, I think that was timed out. They threw you the teddy bear and then And then you. Hit me the, That's hit the me with thing. The, uh, They're smart. Yeah. They've been doing this a they few years, kind of like you. They things and they hit you with the hard ones. Yeah, I got it. Uh -huh. I got like it. the Frisbees. Yeah. No, but uh, what oh. I was saying earlier, these band members are so self-disciplined. I would be stopping every minute to pick up everything that's on the ground that's <laughs> oh, falling. Oh, no, you mustn't do that. I know. You have to walk right through that's it all. What I'm that's why I didn't make the cut for band. And this is the rest of Baker High School's band, so you get an idea just what a huge huge organization this is. So big that they can split up and ride between uh, two different floats. Here they go. marching band. Our throw cleanup lady is coming by now. <laughs> and she's she's got her bag there. She's like Carol Burnett at the end of the show. <laughs> you know, I watched one of her shows recently. They did this big special. I had no idea who she was or what, what impact Carol, she had. Isn't she amazing? Yes. A really she funny lady. Is. Queen of Comedy, they called her. She uh, she's, she's pretty amazing. I was at a, a ball the other night and a character came out dressed as Carol Burnett with curtains on her shoulder. You know that was in reference uh -huh. to? Yes. The girl with the wind skip. Yes. Very funny, very funny. <laughs> All right. Here's our next float, Shipwreck, Columbus's last voyage. But this isn't the last float that we're going to see tonight from no. Columbus. You know, the I, show must go on, Darwin. It's kind of ironic. I was just watching Ship. Was it Shipwreck the name of the uh, Tom Hanks movie? What um, was the name of that? That was Castaway. Castaway, that's it. Same thing. Well, it wasn't a ship, it was a plane, but I was watching Man. that earlier today before I came out here. Guy. Very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go, Darwin. He <laughs> was just missing us. All right. The Olympia Brass Band performing for us now. They sound great. They do. to downtown New Orleans and you see the wrought iron fencing with all the beads draped over. It's so pretty and that's actually kind of happening to our lights here <laughs> yeah. above. Yeah, We're that's... getting a nice draping of beads. Oh, I got a rubber, rubber chicken. chicken. Okay, my evening is complete. I can leave now. <laughs> and we've got pickles now. I pickles. love pickles. This is, of course, the theme throat. Yes, theme, it is. Theme throat. <laughs> theme float. <laughs> You're worried about your throat. I, I sure am. Oh, Darwin nailed it. I'm it's to... good to be king, isn't it? When Apparently. you make those kind of catches. Oh, <laughs> Well, we that won't mention what that was. <laughs> we won't mention what those were. Oh, are you float uh, float lady? You don't want him? The cleanup lady doesn't want those. All right, Kristen did. Listen, we you said might, we're trying to we're trying to stock yeah. every room in the house. You might find those at a special store at the mall. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> or in a special drawer in your room. I was the uh, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my drawer. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Let's see what we got up here. Okay, well, remember we're in our king theme now, yes, so everything theme. will have a king in it. What do you think this is? Um, I know what it is. Tell me. It looks like king mackerel. Mackerel, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Darwin's deflecting him without his frisbee. I'm trying to catch them, but it's just You're not so working. good now. I, really? <laughs> <laughs> I've learned something. Never take your eye off the ball. Right. Or that ball will get in your eye. It will. I actually just got whipped by a couple of beads in the back of the arm. Really? How is that for you? Oh, nice catch. Thank you. Backhander. I'll tell you what. These these Frisbees are really cool. This, these are, what's that Make Mardi Gras great, great again. again. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's a keeper. After last night, I mean, goodness. Yeah, it was still keeper. a great time. And speaking of, we talked about some of those lifetime members. I was actually talking to one of the members from the Mystic Stripers. He said, you know, regardless of the rain, he actually had paraded in even worse weather back in the 70s. In the 70s. But he said they still had a great time last night at the ball. I'm Everyone sure just kind of ringed out their costumes. <laughs> and they still got down. It didn't rain on their parade during the ball after. But I bet they had a ton of towels in there. All right, we got another band here. This will be the Marching Cougars. So the marchers there, so the parents. Thank you, and, and maybe the director there might very well be. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, sir. Great job, you guys. Oh, well, by the way, if you get a chance to uh, go into Navigator Credit Union or the boot store, tell them we appreciate them sponsoring our parades. That's how we can do this. Without them, we are nothing. Without right. them, we're not on the air. So make sure you <laughs> say thank you, thank you, thank you for airing the parades on UTV 44. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing King Neptune, one of my favorite movies as a child, The Little Mermaid, of course. Ah. Wow. Oh. Careful, I got Colin. it. Right, good. That's all right. It was a, so just a bag of rice. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I'll take that home. That's going in the pot tomorrow. That's part of a gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> This is the St. Michael, uh, this is St. Michael's band, by the way. New school. Yeah, it's a new school ball. On the Eastern Shore. New Catholic school. It is. Been there before, it's a beautiful school, and it great is. staff, and a wonderful student body, and we welcome them to Mobile. They sound good. And you know whose children go to St. Michael's? Oh, our uh, late Tom. Our late, yes. Tom Russo was Tom our summit editor in the NBC 15 newsroom. He was. Uh, pa unfortunately passed away a year ago tomorrow, or Sunday. Wow. And wow. Uh, his daughter goes to that school, a very fine school it is. Yes. We think about Tom very often and his lovely family. But right now, we're going to have to concentrate on all this stuff flying toward us. Yeah, from the King Tut float. Everyone knows King Tut. He lives in a condo made of stone. <laughs> now, that may not mean much to you. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. The generation gap crops up again. <laughs> Steve Martin. Steve Martin, the comedian, did a song called King Tut many years ago. Montgomery, Catholic High School band. We've seen them before coming down to enjoy uh, Mardi Gras with us. We're glad to have them. Named King. Yes. This particular float coming yes. up. We're not going to reveal it just yet, but you were wondering if there would be one in the parade. I was. With King in it, it would have to have this float, and it does, and it's about to show its childish face. King <laughs> cake. cake. Yeah, you king and I cake. were talking before the show. Do we know who makes the best king cake? You'll have to let us know on the UTV44 Facebook page if you have an opinion. Yes. Darwin and I were sharing ours. I think there are so many 
here along the Gulf Coast, of course, the best, the birthplace of Mardi Gras being Mobile. We've had a lot of practice in trying to perfect the recipe of king cake. I love the flower baby's king cake. I love Atlanta bread. I actually think Publix does a great job in all honesty. Yeah. Sam's. Yeah. You know, there's one, though, I haven't tried yet. I saw on a menu at Dolphins. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. It is a traditional king cake. It's a very, looks like a very flaky pastry. I'd love uh, to try it. It almost looks like a croissant in a way, but it's denser than that. And it's on their menu right now. Uh, I want to go check it out if I ever get a chance. I know. To go. Right now we're glued to the parade route, but Dolphins, if you're listening, I'll try to get out there and check it out if you have any leftover after the uh, <laughs> That's true. Cross season. That's true. They might be cleared out. Have you been to Dolphin? Yes. It's yes. excellent. It's the right, food, it, the atmosphere. It's at the top of the Bank Trust Building downtown, the RSA Bank Trust Building. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Okay, I just got <laughs> distracted <laughs> a little bit. Central High School. They're getting down. They are getting down on this Friday night. You know, we used to have a Central High School. I'm trying to remember where Central is from now because we, have, we used to have a Central High School on the Avenue many, many moons ago. It's now the, uh, it's now the MLK branch of uh, Bishop State College. It's, it's the campus a little bit further down from their main campus. But that was the old Central High School. I know a lot of people out there are going, yep, yep. remember that? That was a little bit before my time. But Bishop State's done a marvelous job with it. Resurrecting the old campus. Mm -hmm. Crew of Columbus, we are enjoying their parade tonight. And you know what? They've been really good with the throws. I mean, it they hasn't been, been anything too abusive, and they've been really uh, right on the money with the throws tonight. We've enjoyed it. I was hoping that a pickle would make its way up here. I saw them. They're Wait, you are not the, going to tear into a pickle I, tonight while listen, we're doing this. You know I would. No, you are not. <laughs> I would are love, I would love to have the are opportunity. <laughs> are you? We'll see. I guess we'll see. Old King Cole. He was a merry old soul. And a merry old soul was he. Do you know the rest of it? Um. Dun dun da 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 <laughs> And he called for his fiddlers three. Well, there's a pipe involved too. See it? It's a pipe in the sand. He had three fiddlers, and I did see a fiddler. Oh, there's one in the middle, and there's one on either side. So they uh, did, did three three. fiddlers. Williamson High School marching band. They weren't they the ones running for cover last night? For some reason, I thought they were. They were. Tonight. I know, I know they were in the parade last night. Much better situation right now. Let's listen. stick and sausage. <laughs> uh, that, hey, that chicken on a stick. I love it. Yes, I have it. That's good stuff. When I go to the Chinese buffet, <laughs> I always get me some chicken on a stick. I've seen you. I've seen you. You stand there with a fork and a spoon and you don't move. Because you get a table you sometimes. You just pull right up to the table, <laughs> Darwin. You're not buffeting right. Oh, look it's at this. We're talking the king is the uh, is the floats tonight. The theme is king. Of course, the king of rock and roll. That's Elvis. right. Elvis and they're throwing peanuts like there's no tomorrow. They are. Yes, they are. They've Elvis. all got the perfect hair. I love this. This is the float I want to be on. <laughs> Those are great costumes. All of them have that big Elvis hair. I'm trying to think, this is just Vegas days, definitely. <laughs> See, they think we're trying to catch them. Little do they know we're just trying to keep our eyesight. <laughs> talking about the buffet. Well, let me say, first of all, the Second, Second Line Society, Society brand. Band. I don't think I've seen them in the parade so me far, neither. so we want to give them a little cred. Shout them out. Second Line oh, Society wow. I love our brass Look band. Look at this. This looks like a club. Wow. It's think, going down in downtown. Club. That guy's happy. He's got oh, a little way, finding me. Let me say it. Elvis has left the parade route. Well, at least not <laughs> part of it. All right. Another enthusiastic bunch of kings here. Ooh. This would be... King Arthur. King Arthur. Whoa. And the Knights and of the Round Table. These are the ones that... Oh, Whoa. Oh, that guy's got an arm. Okay. Now. We've got a former <laughs> high school or college quarterback. <laughs> Sipping them at us. Oh, oh see that gently, gently, gently. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> 
There's two at once. I can't. I can't handle it. You know, they may be miserable the rest of the year, but they're happy right You're now. You're right. They're all going to have shoulder and elbow yes. surgery after tonight. Yes. But at least they got. Oh, no. Well, and so will we, actually. Yeah. I'll have reconstructive surgery. <laughs> all over my body. <laughs> you know, I might come out looking better, actually. <laughs> I'll tell you what I need. I need, like, mitts. I forgot it, we it had hurts the... My, uh... It hurts my hands, the fingers. By the hurt. way, that was Lion King, just in case you were oh, wondering. Sorry. I was distracted. No, well, yeah. It's called self-preservation. Oh, man. I know, Crew of Columbus working its way down the street. They have been, once again, around since... I was going to try to share a little information, but it's yeah. kind of hard when you're Go for it. trying to save your life. Uh, they've been around since 1922. You know, in uh, October of 1969, their crew barn was destroyed by fire. They had to rebuild their floats just before the parade, and then they were rained down on parade night. Oh, it was not their year, Darwin. But they followed the IMs that year on Monday night. They better. Wow. Oh, look. King of the Hill. Mall Mall's making it on TV. <laughs> hey, Mall Mall. Hey, Mall Mall. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. There you go, Darwin. There's I don't some know what cookies. The cookies? I thought that was a bag of, box of cereal. You know what? It may have been. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Actually, the best king cake is from New Orleans. It's Randazzo. a bakery called Randazzo. Randazzo's. How'd you know? Uh, I've, I've heard about it. By the way, i got to give a shout out to these guys, the Juke Rock Grass Band. Yes. They're going to be on NBC 15 today. Mardi Gras morning, Tuesday morning, uh, from uh, Panini Pete's. We're going to have some fun listening to them and making some beignets. So uh, thanks for, Ooh, for being yes. part of our morning show on Fat Tuesday. And then, Darwin, were you saying you guys are going to start throwing the beignets, kind of like moon pie style? Oh, no, they don't. In they the don't. studio? I'll no. throw them in my mouth. <laughs> you can throw some in my mouth, too, Darwin. No, they're really delicious, by the way. Panini Pete's beignets are dynamite. Oh, I love dynamite. Panini Pete's. Yes. Are you good at chess? Oh, that was chess, wasn't it? No, I'm not. Checkers? Pretty good. <laughs> Different strategy. Different strategy. Yeah. DC Ray. And then throw and then it like it. this. But not the whole thing. Not the whole thing? Oh, you're supposed to just take a piece of it off here. Good. <laughs> you, and you grew up mobile, and I grew up in the mountains of Kentucky, and I know how to throw serpentine. <laughs> no, dude, don't throw the whole thing. They'll send you to jail for that. What's wrong with you? Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. Well, that failed. That was a fail. That was a fail. That was a fail. I'm not good at throwing that. All right, we got a little dance-off going on down on the... Uh, I don't know if we can see that. Oh, it's over. That was a moment. <laughs> that was a moment. Excellent. You missed it. You had to be there, Darwin. Oh, wow. It's the last floor. Are you serious? No this thing way. is ending already. At 19 floats tonight, a big parade, and it's almost over. Time flies when you're having fun, Darwin. Yes. You make it fun. Bob Country the King of Mardi Gras. Whoa. A little explosion there. Wow. This guy's just... Yes, he is. Throwing. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just wondering... <laughs> If all that's on purpose. <laughs> I don't know. The, the marksmanship is amazing. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what. It is difficult to throw a Frisbee. I am, like, shocked at how well. I'll tell throw. you what else shocks me. This Publix Works crew. Because yes. Chris Jenner may work hard, but Mobile Publix Works works harder. 
All right, we're gonna compose ourselves. Oh, what a mess! Woo! Oh my goodness! It's I, a fun mess. It is a fun mess. It's a it's a hot mess up it's here. It's a right hot, now. sticky, <laughs> mess. humid mess. All right, we're gonna count our chocolate chip cookies and our frisbees, and we're gonna take a break, compose ourselves. We got food and music to go because I know you guys are probably just uh, settling in for us. Enjoyable Saturday now. night. Yeah. I mean, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Did yeah. I say Saturday? You did. Oh, but wow. We'll forget it. <laughs> I'm a little rattled right now. We'll be back in a moment. Crew Columbus going on down the street to finish their parade, but we've got more entertainment, so don't go away. Only medicine as far as wine and beer and cocktails. <laughs> How was your first experience here on the Hargrove Controls and Automations balcony? I see there's a lot of fun stuff and goodies piled up in the background. We had so much fun. My uh, husband and 18-month-old wow. were on the balcony with me, so we had a great time. Okay, and then really quickly, tell us about your happy hour specials, because anytime we're getting alcohol during the Mardi Gras carnival season, we want to come and get a good deal. Um, so all of house liquor is a dollar off, all um, draft beer is a dollar. Uh, there is some wine that is um, special, so it's about three or four. Uh -huh. So there's definitely something um, for bargain friendly. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Lee. We're definitely going to have you back again next year. Now I'm going to step back. We have another extra special duo in the house. Of course, Jake and Kyle from Delta Smoke. and. Darwin, I don't know if you heard me earlier, they actually won a, a Nappy Award this year for Best New Local Band. I'm not surprised, you guys. Also, I know it's hard to hear right now and hard to think. What? Exactly. <laughs> but you guys play, you were just saying earlier that you play on Sunday nights, uh, kind of a constant game down at Brickyard, is that right? Absolutely, man. Sunday night service with Brickyard. It's not Sunday night service with Delta Smoke at the Brickyard. Is it a religious experience? Oh, yeah. I love um, it. Some might call it really. We, we definitely touch souls. We bring the gospel when we do it. So. Yeah, I love it. And I was asking Kyle earlier, he has all of these harmonicas, but on top of that, I understand he makes his own microphone somehow. Wow. How do you fashion those up, Kyle? I, I couldn't afford one, so I thought I'd build one. <laughs> and I did. I, I can't afford a TV station, but I'm not going to build one. <laughs> but you know what? It's like uh, uh, it's like white drives with the, the, the amps. They, if, you, yeah. if you like the old amps, they have a different sound to them. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, can we hear from you guys? Absolutely. Yes. Where are you going to play? Uh, we've got a song off our new album coming out called Elijah. You must be the quiet one. I am. <laughs>
She watched every night as the sky slowly faded to black. Her soldier and battle she feared might not ever come back. She said. Seven long months and I'm grieving myself to the bone. Are you coming back soon? I don't think I can do this alone. And in the moonlight she cries, Elijah, why don't you come?